Don't be upset, Arnold. Why should I be upset? If you must leave, you must. I do have to. They expect me to keep up tomorrow morning. So you told me. Give me back. Great changes are taking place in this country. Tremendous changes. But they can't happen by themselves. So naturally, you feel you personally have to. No, not only me. Many people. Jews, Gentiles, many people hate what's going on. Don't you understand? I understand, of course. If you want to leave, then goodbye. Otto, your father and the others. Do you think what happened at Silo's wedding was a little cloud burst and they'll all be peaceful again? It won't. Horrible things are happening all over the land. Pogroms, violences, whole villages are being emptied of their people. It's happened everywhere. It'll happen here. Don't you understand? I understand. You want to leave, of course. Goodbye. I have great work to do. The greatest work a man can do. But before you go, I must discuss a certain question with you. Yes. A uh, political question. What is it? The question of, of, of marriage. This is a political question? A theoretical sense, yes. The relationship between a man and woman known as marriage is based on mutual belief, a common attitude, and philosophy towards society. And affection. And affection. This relationship reflects positive social values, unity, and solidarity. And affection. And affection. And I'm personally in favor of you. <laughs> Don't you understand? Yes, I think you're asking me to marry. In a theoretical sense, yes. <laughs> I am. I was hoping you were. Now I take it you approve. We can consider ourselves engaged. Even though I'm going away. I'm very happy, Arnold. Very happy. So am I, Bridget. What's the matter?
You are staying here, so I'm sorry, but my answer is no. Papa, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. I did not to incite to my commission, so you too will feel you also have a right. I'm sorry, Perchie. I like you, but you are going away, so go in good health, and my answer is still no. You don't understand. You are not listening. I am sorry, Perchie. We'll find somebody else for you here, not a Tevka. But Tevya, what is it? We're not asking for your permission, only for your blessing. We're going to get married. You're not asking for my permission. I hope you would like your blessing, Papa. I can't believe my own ears. My blessing? For what? For going over my head. Impossible. At least with sight of the model. They asked me. They begged me. But now if I like it or not, She'll marry him. So what do you want from me? Go on, be wed, and tear out my beard and uncover my hair. Tradition. I'm not even asking permission from the papa. What's happened to the tradition? One more time, my pull out of the red, and what is it led? This, a man tells me he's getting married. He doesn't ask me, he tells me. But first he abandons her. He's not abandoning me, Papa. As soon as I can, I'll send for her and marry her. I love her. He loves her. Love. It's a new style. <laughs> <sighs> On the other hand, our old ways were once new, weren't they? On the other hand, they decided without parents, without a matchmaker. But did Adam and Eve have a matchmaker? Yes, they did. <laughs> then it seems these two will have the same matchmaker. They're going over my head. And heard of, and said, for this they want to be blessed and single. I'll lock her up in her room.